Hello all, welcome to today's tutorial. Um, today we're going to be talking about publishing a game with the Blender game add-on. Um, now I want to give you a little bit of a backstory to this tutorial. Um, I was recently working on a project when my friend asked me to um, send him a demo um, or part of the game that he could play. And I um, make my games on a Mac. I um, develop them, do all that stuff on a Macintosh. So if you've ever run into publishing your game, um, you'll know that uh, this is a bit of a problem. If I'm on a Mac, then it's very hard to publish over to Windows. So I went to theblenderartist.com, and I know there was this add-on that had recently come out. And um, I asked about it, and thankfully the user, Yol, I hope I'm saying that correctly, he helped me out, um, showed me how to use it. If you want to um, see that Blender Artist link, it will be in the description, but this is just a video tutorial on how to do it so you can see it um, happening. So everything that I say is what he's helped me out. So thank you a lot, Yol, for um, this tutorial idea and all that stuff. So um, the first thing you need to do, you're in Blender. I have this little game here. All that happens is a cube falls down, hits down. That's about it. Simple little game. Um, but what we're going to do is um, first we need to make sure that you have this add-on checked. So you can go into File, go into User Preferences, go into Add-ons, and then you can go in here um, and you can type Game. Um, and we have the game um, engine publishing. Now there's this save as game engine runtime. And this is the previous way to do it. Um, but this will only allow you to save it as a runtime with whatever um, platform you're using. So I'm using Mac and I could only be able to um, save it as a Mac file that Mac um, computers would be able to run. So that is not handy when we're trying to do um, publish it to Windows from a Mac. So then we also have this game engine publishing. Um, and so what you want to do is just click this check mark, right? have it checked, um, and save user settings so that you don't have to recheck it again when you um, load up uh, Blender next time. So after doing that, um, you'll have this new little box. If you go up here, we'll go all the way down. You have this new little thing called Publishing Info. So we'll expand this a little bit. Um, and it looks a little confusing, but the user you'll uh, sort of explained it um, pretty good for me. So what you're going to need to do is go to blender.org and um, you're going to go to download and since I'm on a Mac um, I need to download a Windows so you're going to download whatever um, platform you want to save to so I'm going to download Windows and just the latest version um, download a zip file that's what you'll need and so go ahead and download that and then extract it out alright so now we're back in the game engine and we've downloaded our Windows file um, and now what we need to do is you need to set up these folders the correct way. So your publishing output is the directory you want your game to be made in. So this is basically just the folder where your game will be. So I've set up an area to do this already. It'll be in here and it's just titled game. It doesn't have to be anything special but this is just the place I want to put my game to. So you click accept. That's where it's going to save all the files. Um, now your runtime name, this is just the name you're going to call it. I'm going to call it game tutorial. Now your library path is the Windows zip file that you've extracted, um, the version of Blender. So you'll just need to grab that. We go in here, and um, we'll just find it wherever we've saved it. Let's see. And just the latest one, just do it right there. Accept. Now one thing you're going to need to do is uncheck pap publish default platform because we don't want it. We don't want that um, to publish as a zip file, or we don't want it to publish as a Mac file. Um, and add a new um, platform and we're just going to call this uh, Windows 64 if we wanted to. This doesn't have to be a specific name, we're just making it a name. And uh, the player path is the player that um, Blender uses and this is the B Blender player itself and if you go into files of Blender you'll be able to find these in every version. So we need to pick up the Windows Blender player version. So we're going to go in here and we're in 2.73 we've grabbed the windows folder right here and all you need to do is find blender player x.exe click on that and click accept so it's gonna run it as a windows player and um, that's all you need to do and then click publish platforms and it may take a second to load because it's saving out all of the files um, necessary alright and then once that's completed we'll just go to our game um, it says in here Windows.64 
and um, it has all of the necessary files and you won't your player um, using it will not need um, a blender thing to use and um, I hope everything worked for you guys if it doesn't please leave a note um, and like I said you can leave uh, look at the blender artist link down in the description so uh, thank you guys for watching uh, please tune in next week for the next tutorial thanks bye